It's this time of year when the historic cell blocks at Eastern State Penitentiary usually come alive to give visitors a frightening interactive show. This was supposed to be the 30th year of terror behind the walls, but in 2020, instead of Halloween masks, you'll only see protective face masks. I'm not going to lie, it's been a hard year for all museums. It's been a hard year for us. The staff is making sure it's clean, with guests spaced out for a new concept, night tours of the nearly 200-year-old prison, with lights sweeping from the guard tower, an audio tour with the voices of former prisoners and guards, and silent films projected on the walls. All at night in this really quiet, eerie environment. It's actually a wonderful way to celebrate the fall and you know it's a wonderful way to get back out into the into the world. During a normal Halloween season there would be huge lines here night after night. Obviously for safety reasons they can't do that this time around but this does give people an opportunity to come out and experience this space in a different way. I like this a little bit better than the haunted house actually. It's very peaceful. Eastern State closed for five months this year, but now the neighborhood is getting busy again. It's kind of nice to get off of work and have an activity. You have to reserve the timed tickets online, which will be limited, but expands on the daytime offerings. We always want to see visitors inside the building. It's why we're here for our visitors. And so the chance to open it up to a new audience is something we always would jump at. The team here hopes this can provide a safe evening out and benefit the nearby businesses too, all while giving people a chance to learn something in this unique setting. In Fairmont, Drew Smith, NBC 10 News.